so yes i'm going to be very quick about this a lot of you are already familiar with the girl on this image esther um esther Raphael. for the past 24 hours her videos has been trending online she, she has been the talk of the internet after her um sex tape her video leaked her nude video leaked so but contrary to public opinion i see i've seen a lot of people make videos and i've seen a lot of people attributing blames to ah uh, he sent video to man the man leak him. he sent video girls be careful of who you send your videos to the thing is that most of you don't know what these girls do esther Raphael is a content creator on tiktok but on snapchat and other sex platforms she does a different thing if you have one video one um sex video online we can assume it's a mistake your sex tape leak but when you have up to six and seven eight nude videos online fingering yourself it's not a leak esther Raphael says her nude online let's stop all these um said man video man leak and girls know the kind of men you send your videos a lot of these girls do these things and they are proud of it they are not they don't feel bad about it you guys might be worried ah this, uh, this is what she does she's on snapchat she has her premium she sells her nude with her face she's proud of it you've only seen one video she has over five six seven eight videos online on her premium so there's not you people should stop everything it's not uh, tackling men blaming men you said yeah don't trust men don't do this these girls are doing this and I'm, they are making money from it she makes funny videos on TikTok. TikTok doesn't pay her enough. She sells her nude on Snapchat and other platforms to make ends meet. So she should own it up. She should own up her sheets and don't even try to play victims. If not, other videos go full internet. At least not three days now. But I've seen over seven. So it's not a leak. It's what she does. Now you know, no. But I did tell you now. So this is going to be the last comment I'm going to make concerning this whole sex tip. You know, I believe life is an adventure and things happen for people to learn. You know, life is a very, very good adventure. We live, we learn, we make mistakes and we, we move on. Now, the few things I want everyone watching this video to pick is this. First of all, as a lady, no matter how in love you are, no matter how much you love that guy, please don't send out your nude video to any man. Because most of you, are still very innocent and you don't know what the future holds for you you don't know what might happen in the future you don't know how big you might get in the future and most people are psychopaths most people are psychopaths most people don't actually love you most people love you out of infatuation most people love you just for sexual gratification they don't actually love you like genuine genuine love so stop people like that can hold you ransom with your sex tape and they can lick it anytime so be careful um the people you date and the people you send out your sex tape to number two if you know you can't take the heat of having your sex tape leaked at any point in your life please avoid any urge to bring your phone camera and press record whenever you're naked or whenever you're horny just avoid it entirely you know whenever you want to do your stuff make sure your phone is not on just make sure your, your camera is not on avoid whatever thing that will make you record yourself naked you know talk more of having the urge to send it to one or two persons that is number two number three if you know you want to make a living out of selling notes or selling your your um porn videos or selling stuff on the internet and you don't know what the future has for you and then you also are not emotionally strong you are you're not emotionally strong to bear the pressure that comes with having your tape leaked anytime in the future make sure you put on a mask for your own safety you know people are not interested in seeing your face people are interested the people buying your nude are interested in seeing you perform they are interested in seeing what you do they are not interested in seeing your face so make sure you always have a mask on i think that is just how to avoid all these things let it not um, emanate from you talk more of other people having it not even a boyfriend peace and big ups everything now everything with nigerian ladies you have to pay you have to you have to drop something you have to give them money and that is why ladies ladies don't even want to work because they feel like their body is the price and then you have to pay for everything and you cannot have a common conversation you cannot you cannot just say hi or hello 
they are hoping that you will drop something. It's only ladies in Nigeria. I have not traveled down Shabo. It's Nigeria. As in the, the, the level of... There's, see, there's no private part anymore. Alright, so um, as you all know, a video of this girl is currently trending on Twitter. A video of her masturbating. According to the story that she sent a video to her boyfriend, the boyfriend used his phone to screen record it, to screen record it and then told her to pay money else is going to release it to the general public the girl paid the first one it wasn't enough they still blackmailed her again they kept on blackmailing her now she does not have money and they decided to re they decided to release the video to the general public now i've been seeing a lot of comments that ah why this girl go do something like that fine girl like her she has a lot of men blah 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 a lot of people judging her now um i'm not in a better position to judge her because i understand perfectly well what happened to this girl because you see that same thing that girl did i am also guilty of it 100 percent. you know 100 percent. it is a watch me fetish and you get this fetish from watching too much of porn this is the danger this is what i was telling you guys about this is the danger of watching too much of pornography <coughs> you understand so it is a fetish that when you are in the mood you record yourself you understand while you're doing it record it yourself you send it to somebody you still do your thing you are waiting for the person to respond it is the person respond that now gets you to your orgasm it is the respond that gets you it is not what you are doing it is not the hand you are putting in on the hand that you're using to rub yourself no it is the respond that you are waiting for so me that time when i send it to those girls you know, when I send my video of me doing it to the girls, I'll continue doing my thing and I'll wait for the girl to say, Oh God, I like it. Da, da, da. So when the girls start responding and we start chatting, then you understand? So I understand what happened to this girl. It is a watch me fetish. Like I said, and let me tell you something. This is what I said. If you watch my previous video, go down my Instagram, you see it where I said, Porn addiction is crazy. It is really crazy. It opens your mind to a lot of things that you will not do on a normal day. It teaches you some fetishes that you will never imagine in your life. It was three. It was through porn I started doing three songs. Do you understand? That is how bad. That's how dangerous porn is. And I will tell you for free that porn have made a lot of people go into lesbianism and gayism. Yes. Yes, a lot of people discover that they might be interested in the other gender from watching porn. It, is, it, it makes you want to explore beyond your regular frame of mind. Porn addiction has made a lot of people go into pedophilia. Porn addiction has made a lot of people start raping. Do you understand? Going to same sex, same sex package, all those things. It is porn addiction. So I understand 100% what happened to this girl. Like I said, I did bad bad for inside the thing before I did go on a normal. Do you understand? I am pretty sure as I'm talking to you now, some people they wait if they were they will release my own book for some year. Do you understand? I don't know if they have it, if they have kept it, but to be honest, me, I don't even really care. Do you understand? So yes, I understand this. And this is why I always preach. I say porn addiction will make you go crazy. Stay away from me. Now and to the boyfriend and to the black man, and um to the boyfriend that did it. I don't know why you did it, but karma will definitely come for you. Come out definitely come for you and this is, this should be a lesson just in case for people that when they blackmail you you start paying do not pay your blackmailer money just tell them to do what they want to do because at the end of the day they will do what they want to do you saw the case of tiwa savage i'm pretty sure they tried to blackmail her and she refused she said do it because they for see they would have smoked tiwa savage dry if she had paid the first one imagine so tiwa savage pay when they blackmail her she pay money that's the end They'll collect one million today, collect two million, collect three million. They will mess with her brain mentally, spiritually, everything about her. They would have trained her by now. She was having for the only. Do you understand? So, no, they pay your blood. They black me, you know. Use your mouth, come public, say, okay, yes, look at what happened. Say it out there. When the person releases it, but hey, of course, everybody, to not be a shock, people would have been like, ah, this is weak. They will not even be interested. They will, look for it. They will not share it. They will look for a way to, to just bring it out. They will look for a way to delete it. They will not be interested. So the first best form of attack, the first best form of uh, defense is attack. So you have to understand that. I'm sorry, I don't know how this girl will be feeling right now. I pray that she will be okay. But like I said, I know the imposition to judge. Stay away from porn. Stay away from porn. Don't play.